Hey hands, how we all did a lead to what now is everybody holding up? I'm actually a little bit shy to record this. Hey hey, I've been in London actually. I've been down south, haven't I love? And I had an amazing time. I met up with Steph, Kayla, Molly, Claire, Duck Dan. Basically, I met up with all my friends and it was really it was it was it was great. It really great. But yes, it's made me so inspired. It always does every time I go to Sims Camp or EA Play or something like that. They always inspire me so much to actually make content. So yesterday I did have a bit of a an anxious streak actually and i was like i just want to record videos but i don't want to even i want to record and i just feel like i'm an imposter i actually sat down wrote myself a schedule and wrote loads of video ideas out and if i make a video four times a week for the next five months i'm set with content so here's just a tip for you i'm just like sharing things that have worked for my anxiety i've started to make a routine for myself so i know where i'm at at each day and like what i'm doing and also writing things down because i could i write video ideas down on my iphone but not sponsored even though it's visually something never seems to stick when it's on my iphone but like actually writing them out on piece and pa piece of paper on pen and paper i don't actually have zero video ideas i've actually got a lot and i am actually really inspired god bless my editor so yeah these are just like mini updates videos i'm planning see the thing is i have a schedule right <laughs> as you just know i've made a schedule just trying to find the schedule sorry because i wanted to make the schedule include streams as well because obviously once i've moved into my new house and everything started then i would like to get back to streaming as of right now can't really stream i'm thinking that my upload day is going to be monday wednesday friday and sunday with every other sunday being an entire history of which gives me time to write the script and everything stream days uh, potentially Tuesday, Wednesday, maybe Thursday and Saturday. So like three or four times a week for streaming. So those are just my little updates there. Yeah, I have my entire life wrote out on a piece of paper. And you know what? feels good. Just tear it up. If not, I won't. I'll stick to it. I'll stick to it. But that is not the biggest news of today. Bitch, I bought a house. What the, what, literally what the damn dickens. I have bought a house. It's a shock to my system as well because the house that I currently live in, I genuinely thought I'd live in that for the rest of my life and I'm, I'm going to miss it and that house has taught me so much about like myself, I guess, and like living alone fully and with, with responsibility for the first time. But yeah, I have, I have bought a different house. I'm going to miss that house. I wish I could afford to just buy both, you know, and just go to the other house on the weekends. But alas, I cannot i do not have the keys yet or anything it's still i mean touch wood like i hope it doesn't fall through yeah i've bought a house it is in fact closer to my parents because <laughs> one thing that i realized over quarantine is like fucking hell i hated not being able to see my mum and dad which sounds kind of sad but i don't mean it in the terms of like i need them for support and that's why like it's not it's not so much that it's more like i really enjoy actually just spending time with my family and this means that it's easier for me to, to do that and also pop between the two houses it's going to be a lot easier so i'm so excited for that i'm so excited to like be closer to all of the kids as they're growing up and quarantine's made me realize like i'm locked down and having to spend time with myself and stuff like that has made me realize that i actually i don't think there's anything that could make me move out of middlesbrough so if you know what if it was logistically possible i think i just as i've said it before i'll say it again my big dream is to move me and all my family in a, a huge country house and we just just wake up in the morning and smell the birds. No, listen to the birds and smell the coffee. That's the one. I don't have anything to show of you of the house right now because the only thing I do have to show of you of the house right now is the outside. And for my personal safety, don't think that's a good idea. Not the brightest thought I could have. And also, I just want to put this out there. Don't be expecting a mansion because it's not... It's the perfect size for me and it has a bedroom for the kids as well. Not my kids. I don't have children yet, but my niece and nephews, it's got a bedroom for them as well. So it's perfect for me. It's 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 perfect. And I always said when I was I streamed every day in December last year and I always said like I just feel I have this feeling that 2021 is going to be my year. And then 2021 happened and emotionally it was not like <laughs> 2021 happened and i suppose it was my year in terms of growth because you know i had to really face a lot of emotional challenges of things that i maybe hadn't processed from the previous year i think i needed to process them and i also i think that other things in my life had to be cut back like youtube i had to cut youtube back and i had to take multiple breaks because i just really wasn't doing well but i'm glad that i wasn't doing well because now i've got to the position where i feel like i am well and it's not a temporary thing i still have my anxious days of course i've got fucking generalized anxiety disorder do you know what i mean the majority of my time for the past month has been purely happy no real anxious feelings the first part of 2021 wasn't wasn't my year but the second part of it is really shaping up to be and you know what i think in some way 
I think that the first part of my year was my kind of year as well. This is going to be so fun, right? Because although I don't actually have anything of substance to show you, really, I do think I would like to just make myself bigger. Don't worry about me. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoe. I do think I would like to show you through my Pinterest board of my inspiration for my future house that I've got to live in because I'm so fucking excited. And can you imagine? Oh my God, making it in the Sims and renovate. I've already done that. I have, but I want to do it for YouTube as well because I haven't actually decorated it and stuff like that. I also want to do moving vlogs because the house that I'm moving into, oh, it's quite a nice story actually. It's only had one owner and she she was the owner ever since it was built and she lived and died in that house and she I know her, she knew me, she watched me grow up, so... Basically, what I'm saying is I don't think I'll be haunted. But this is the kind of vibe I want to go with, right? Obviously, we know I'm a slag for any and all Victorian decor. But I think I'm a slag for sage green at the minute as well. But I don't know if that's just because it's a trend. Because I, I did go through the same phase with yellow, you know. want that green tile stuff in the bathroom. My current bathroom that I live in right now has a freestanding bath. And I mean, you know what? I've never been that asked about like the shape of my bath before. But after having a freestanding bath, that is what I want in my new house bitch so i want it to be like a modern victorian absolutely nobody in the world is shocked but this is the type of vibe i want to go with i definitely want it to be modern because i don't want you to walk in and feel like oh well this house hasn't been upgraded since you know when was victorian period you know what i know so much about it couldn't tell you the dates couldn't tell you the dates I've, I've really got multiple boards with all the same pin on oh i'm just so fucking excited like i was actually thinking do i get a coal burn like a log burner but i don't think that's going to be the smartest idea for me because i do leave a room and forget all of the objects in it and i don't want to like pop upstairs to put my pajamas on and then get distracted by something that my cat's doing and then burn my entire house down which could potentially be a possibility like i am gonna hold my hands up and say that could happen so i don't really know for that let me know if you have any experience as well because this is obviously the first house that i am renovating the woman who had it before me had it so nice but also everything kind of needs updating so i literally know nothing i know nothing but i'm meeting with a builder tonight so i'm fucking scared i can't believe i own a house i actually think this is going to take so much of my anxiety away although i don't know because like my anxiety is multifaceted you know what i mean i don't want to put one label on her because she is truly a unique beast and she can change form at any given moment so yeah that is everything that i have to show you so far it literally i want you to come on this wait hang on let me put my full face on i want you to come on every single part of this journey with me because for me you all are very much included in every single part of this journey and you are the reason i'm even fucking going on this journey anyway so you know i will have privacy with some things like the front of my house apart from that i want you to be involved in every single aspect of it because i just can't fucking believe i'm so excited i'm so excited thank you so, so much for putting up for me well, I'm not going to say putting up with me. I was having a really shit time because of unforeseen events that completely destroyed multiple people in my family. And yeah, I was having a really difficult time dealing with that. And you all were there for me. And you know what? Really, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm so excited for what the rest of 2021 will bring to us. I'm so excited to bring you along on this journey. And I am so forever thankful. I can't believe it. Well, I best fucking believe it because I've got nothing left. <laughs> I love you all the world and thank you so much for being here. Bye, bitch.